everyone. We're here at Teams and we're with Yasun and I would love if you'd introduce yourself and let us know a little bit um, about yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Brit. Thank you for Zybert for having us. Um, I'm Britta. I work uh, at Yasun in business development and I'm here to present Microsoft 365 for Jira. Yeah, and uh, Yasun is a Germany-based company. We integrate Microsoft and Jira. That's why our product is called Microsoft 365 for Jira. And we uh, aim to bring the collaborational features um, of Microsoft to the organizational features of Jira. So to just combine the best of both worlds. Awesome. And is this for uh, DC Cloud or both? We have both. So it's um, cloud first, but we also have the app available for data centers. So um, you should be fine as long as you have Jira, as long as you have Microsoft 365. I would like advise you to visit the marketplace and see what we can do for you. Awesome. And do you yeah. mind uh, sharing some of your personal favorite features? Well, my personal favorite fe feature is for sure the Microsoft Teams integration because it just makes communication so much easier. So you can chat inside of a Jira ticket, which is very, very comfortable if you're like used to chatting with a colleague like very shorthand and you're like, okay, I have to tell this person this and that. Yeah. You can do it inside of Jira and you won't lose track of the communication. Very handy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and do you mind uh, giving us a little bit more insight into the app itself or maybe even showing us yeah. some of its features? Well, I've prepared something. Let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is a short demo. We focus on the ITSM use case. So this is Jira service management focus. Um, but we start in Microsoft Teams because this is what you should be used to if you're working with Microsoft Teams. So um, and the, on the left sidebar, we have integrated, I will show you, we have integrated the IT support portal. So this is the customer portal from Jira Service Management. It just looks like you have set it up in Jira Service Management. And everything you have uh, or you need as an internal customer, you have in Microsoft Teams. So uh, by filling out the, um, the portal, you will see all the fields that are available. We have a few prepared, so this is also, um, there's the conference knowledge base as well. So if in case you have a knowledge base set up, you will also see it in this portal. And um, there are a few custom fields and it also works with forms. So in case you have a form set up, you will also see it in the customer portal inside of Microsoft Teams. We fill it in and we raise the ticket. Now we see that the ticket has been raised and you also have it available for later on. You have it in a My Request tab, so we have an overview of all the tickets you have created as a, and a customer. But now that we have raised the issue, we want to switch to Jira Service Management and see how it looks in Jira Service Management. So this is the agent view. So I just see that um, ticket has been created. I'm an assignee myself. Um, and I can see, okay, I need more information about that. Like, I'm sorry your laptop crashes, <laughs> but why? I need more info about that. So I would, usually I would start a chat like off-site and nobody would know that I would have started a chat. But now I can do it inside uh, of Jira and I can start a chat via Microsoft Teams. So we have a customer chat prepared that will start um, a, a, ch a chat with the reporter of the issue. And we have a template set up so I don't have to type in all the details. Like if I have a repetitive message I want to send, like I have a template, I can edit the text, but it's like very convenient for me to just start with this template. I can start the chat. And now I have an iframe inside of my Jira issue with all the relevant messages and I can keep on keep the conversation going and everything will be documented inside of the Jira ticket. So here I can see I have all the information I need. I can go on and maybe I want to start another, like I want to triage something or I have a, a message that I want to share with my team inside of a team's channel. So I can also start a channel conversation. I have um, a, a template set up again and uh, the channel is also already prepared. So. I will just like edit a little bit of the text, start the conversation, and now I have everything in place again. So now I can uh, talk back to my colleagues and maybe give them a little bit more insights and we will find a solution for the problem why the laptop is crashing. I love the emojis, that's a great feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes the, con like the conversation a little bit more friendly and also in IT support, we use our app in our IT support as well. It just makes the conversation so much more friendly and positive. So big upvote for that. So um, what we also offer is an Outlook email integration. So in case you're still working with emails or you need, or some colleagues are just mainly working with email, you can also, oh, sorry, I'm mistaken. I will, I'm planning a meeting first. <laughs> I'm planning a meeting first because I need more, like I want to get in direct contact. I, I will get back to my reporter and I, I'm having a handy feature um, that is planning a meeting 
uh, with based on my Outlook calendar data. So I have all of the participants, Outlook calendars. I see it, it's all available. So I see, okay, we have a meeting at 2.30 uh, and um, we can also attach um, a Microsoft Teams meeting link. We can change the text and we have a meeting um, in place. And the same with uh, Microsoft Teams integration. This is available inside the JIRA issue. So the idea of the meeting and the JIRA issue are linked together. And now that I have the meeting in place, I can see I can join directly the Microsoft Teams meeting via JIRA. Ah. So next would be the email. So I can start an Outlook email communication too. So um, I can click on the button. Um, I can uh, enter my um, assignees or my reporter to get, get back to, to them via email. And I have a template in place so that makes my, that I'm just have a quicker way of communication. And the email is inside the JIRA issue. And as soon as somebody replies to the email, the communication will also be on track inside of JIRA. So we can keep on the conversa conversation. And also for people, um, maybe I'm on vacation and my colleague needs to have a look at the JIRA ticket. They would see everything I have communicated. They would see what meetings I had. And they are also able to join the Microsoft Teams discussion. So this just makes collaboration and ITSM so much easier. I'm curious, do you get like notified when they respond? Hi. Yes, you do. Like you have it in your Microsoft Teams, like you, you could also chat with them in the Microsoft Teams um, channel, but you also have um, everything in place inside of your Jira issue. Very cool. So as soon as the ticket is closed or resolved, we found a way how to solve Miriam's problem. And mm -hmm. um, as soon as the status changes, we have an automation in place that will attach a backup of all the communication, the chat communication and the channel conversation um, to the Jira issue. So in case you will have um, like a company compliance that you have to close all the chats. You will have everything inside of Jira still. And you can also attach a comment with an AI summary to the issue so that you have all the communication in place, even if the issue has been resolved. That is amazing. That's it. Thank you so much. This is such a great overview. Thank and, you. Um, I appreciate you being here today. Yeah. And then, Same uh, for me. I hope you enjoy the rest of Teams. Thank you, Brielle. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.